Hi, this is Jody, and in this video, I want to show you how to send a pull request or how to contribute in a project on GitHub. This is something that people need to do after they learn how to use Git. The, uh, the situation is most of us learn to how to use Git on our own computer, but are kind of afraid of sending pull requests because we are not sure the process. And the sending pull request is something which is added by github so it's not part of the general official git let's have a look this is a project my friend asked me to contribute on it's a very classic hello world project writing hello world in different languages it's mainly used to have a nice portfolio of all the languages and also it's a good practice on the github let's see what language it's supporting at the moment it has Arduino, assembly, bash. Uh, let's contribute in Erlang if they doesn't have the Erlang. They don't have the Erlang. Or it's more fun to contribute in V. V is a new language. If you have not seen it, it's good to search and read it. It's a very easy to learn language. Also, it runs very, very fast. I also tested it, it's fast, it's very easy to use, and it's fun, and it's a small footprint. So in general, I'm not sure if it's promising in the future it will uh, conquer the world, but in general, it's good to learn. If you have one extra day in your life and you want to do something cool, you can learn the V language. Oh, let me see. Okay, we wanted to do this. First, you have to fork the project. Fork is kind of doing a fork. The project is here. You will get a copy in your own GitHub. I will go with this. Now I have a fork of the project. It's called Jody Jody Hello World. It's forking. This may take a few seconds. Now it's more like a general Git approach. You need to clone this. So this is the address. I will go to my own computer. Uh, I will go to the, for example, mkdir. I don't know what we should call this. My project, cd my project. I will do a git clone that address. Now I have the same project in my own computer. I will go here, this is it. If I go with git log, you will see the logs, who contributed what and everything. So this is the project. What I did, was fork the main project so i have a copy of the project in my own area then cloned this one now i have to do my contribution you can check the code read something this is a very easy one so i will just create a directory for myself i will uh, do a vi hello dot v and V is the easy language, so I will just go with function main. Sorry. Like this, and I go with print line hello world. This is it. Very easy PC. I'm using Tmux so I can divide the screen and everything. Here I will go to the hello world, my project, hello world V. And I will I'll tell it V, uh, what was the name? Hello. Okay, it created the hello. I can run it. Or you can just do the V run hello.v. And it will run your program. Now we have this. So in the first place, first step, I will do a git status. It says this directory is on tracked so i will tell it git add hello v git status it says i'm not tracking hello swap this is okay i don't need that this is enough for me so i will tell it git commit dash m added the v git log now i have this here by jati if you want, you can add more fancy stuff. They had a readme, so I can go to the readme. 
under different language they had this information about the language you can add yours so i will just yank yank the, this one i will go under the p so you can see it better i will add another line and paste my line here so that will be three main v v this is good so i added another one git status git add readme i will add the readme to the stagings then git commit dash m it's always good if you are contributing to a project go and search sometimes they have a file for contributors it says what your message should be if you can do a pull request with do two commits and this kind of stuff but this is a very small project and doesn't have this so added the v to the readme so this is it now if you give git status it said this is on track to say okay no problem for me then you can say git log you have two different commits then you can do git push now i'm pushing this to my own what wants to use your confidential information now it is pushed so if i go here here you will see that this branch is two commits ahead of the main one black iq so i can create a pull request here what happened is i created a i found a project here first i forked it so it came to my area, my GitHub, Jadi Jadi's GitHub. I cloned this to my computer. I did my changes and then I pushed. It's here. This is updated. It says this is two commits ahead of the main one which I forked. So I'm two commits ahead. Now I have to make a pull request. There is a button here which is very easy, you will see. When I create a pull request, it will tell to the main project that please pull my two changes into your project. Easy peasy. Let's do it. So I will say pull request. If you are doing a bigger project, it's good to do the compare first. Also check the contribution. Uh, discussion and reviews. The changes follow. Okay. These are the changes. I'm just making sure that I'm doing the right thing, not to doing extra things. This is fine. And I'm adding only one file with this in it. Okay, so this is good. Create pull request. I have to write. Adding the V language. Sometimes it's important to mention what issue you are resolving with this pull request. Simple. two commits one is for adding the v program two adding the link to the v program to the read this way they know what exactly i have done and it's much easier to merge some bigger projects to have a timeline for this you have a very specific method to do it and then, then they say, okay, each Wednesday we will speak about the new pull request and we will see how it's going. Now, see, I'm in the black IQ, the main project, hello world, and it's in pull requests area. There is one pull request waiting, adding the V language. The project maintainer can come here and see and merge this. So it will be like a merge where merging my commits into their own project i have to wait and see if i see any activities there when they want to check this they will have a button here to merge they can check these commits and see what commits i have added they can check the checks if they have any checks they can it will appear here and file changes are these ones normally when they want to do this 
they won't uh, rely on just watching this. What they will do is checking this pull request on their own computers, testing it. If it's okay, then they will merge it. Okay, so this was very easy. After this, we only need to wait and see if our pull request is added to the project or not. It's not polite to just go and ping them and say, merge this, merge this, merge this. They have lots of things to do. So we have to wait, be patient. If they ask something in bigger project, they will ask you, okay, please change this one with that one. Please rebase your project and different kind of stuff. Please change your commit message because this, is, this will be part of history of this whole project. And it's better to learn how they are working be part of the IRC channel, join the IRC, talk with them, see what's their concerns, how do they merge. And in bigger projects, there are lots and lots and lots of pull requests. So be patient. But this was very easy as you saw. This was Jody. I will be glad if you subscribe and like. will give me more courage to create more English videos. Good luck.